Well, this just happened. Haul time! First haul video ever on this channel. So, past two days I have been in Alderwood and in Linwood and Seattle. And also Seattle Premium you know, Elders, but I didn't buy anything there. And Northgate Mall, which is close to downtown Seattle. So, I ended up with a lot of stuff, so. I'm gonna show you all of them. So I still have everything in the bags because I literally just got home and then came upstairs and then just started to film. So everything is still in bags and in perfect condition. Okay, so the first thing I bought was this black beanie. It is by Cole and I bought it at Zoomie, Zoomies. And yeah, it's just plain black. It's super, super soft, which is why, which is why I bought it. And because I used to have this one from H&M and I don't know, it's really thin and it's not very comfortable to wear. And this is super comfortable. So yeah. Second thing I bought was at the Urban Outfitters at Alderwood and it's this. Now I've been trying to find something that's a little bit cheetah print but just like a really subtle part of it. And yeah, I looked a lot, I looked around a lot in your map figures there. And this is kind of the only thing I really kind of liked, even though I feel like the red is very overpowering. But um, I'll wear it. Um, when I was walking around Alderwood, I didn't find a Paxton at first because it was really close to the food court and I didn't really walk there. Chinos. I've never had chinos before. So this is, these are chinos from Paxson. They're really skinny and yeah, apparently when I buy in the States, everything I buy has to be smaller than the size of the buy in Canada, just cause. So these are like size 28 waist, even though in Canada I wear. And then I bought these skinny, I think they're denim. Anyways, both of these are bullhead skinny, dark, kind of dark beige -ish color. Those are two pants. Let's see. I bought this t-shirt, or two t-shirts. Looks like this. You can see that it's not very like one color. It's like, like a peppery kind of thing. And it has a pocket here. And yeah, it's very comfortable. And I was I wanted to find something kind of paisley-ish, but like not super paisley. So this is another t-shirt that I bought for 50% off. Yeah, it's blue. And yeah, now I was walking across um, a certain, uh, it's like a sports shop, and then my brother decided to go upstairs and look at stuff. And I came across this jacket. It's actually quite expensive. This is a Ray jacket. And it's blue. It's a really nice blue. Um, yeah, I think. I, I don't really like the rain jackets I have right now. So I decided to buy this one, which was $130. Now the reason I bought such an expensive jacket was that it goes on sale on Friday. And right now it's Wednesday. So on Monday, I'm going back to get a price adjustment to get $50 back for this jacket. And yeah, it, it's just really good quality. I'll probably zip it all the way up when I wear it. And it'll look really good with those pants. So that's that. Also, um, I was in Gap and then um, I came across this button up shirt. And then, well, no, wait, how much is it? Fifty-four ninety-five, and that's quite expensive for a plain shirt like that. So I just didn't buy it at first, and then my brother bought stuff. And then with the receipt, um, there was a twenty percent off coupon for if you did a survey on their website. So immediately I was like, okay, I'm going to use that twenty percent off coupon and buy this shirt. 
So I immediately went to the Apple store right next door, did the survey on, online on their computers, got the code, went back and bought this shirt for 20% off. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't really wear button-up shirts, but I'll wear this, you know, probably buttoned up all the way or like up to here. And I'll probably get like a collar tip from Topman, just to jazz it up a bit. And yeah, that's, I hardly ever shop at Gap, but this is like a really nice felty kind of material, so I really liked that. Then I went to H&M and bought this shirt. It's kind of like a dark turquoise, just six dollars. I realized that everything I've bought so far is kind of the same color. They're very like dark, tealish, bluish, brown things. And the reason is um, for this color palette is because um, the whole purpose of my trip was to find this particular dark teal neff beanie from Zoomies, and I couldn't find it at all. I went to three Zoomies to find it, couldn't find it. So I just bought a lot of, a lot of other stuff that is the same color as that. And then I went to Sephora and bought, not for myself, but for my friend Eunice, who did the Dripping Thighs video with me, this Flora Gucci perfume. Now it's Mandarin Orange. It smells pretty nice because I tried it in the store. And it's just a 50 milliliter bottle for fucking $80. So she's gonna own me. Yeah, she's very excited for this. Bought all that stuff. Second day, I didn't buy too much. Um, second day, we went to downtown Seattle, and then there, um, I didn't find anything particularly interesting or that I really liked until I went into Urban Outfitters in the sales section and found this hat, which was only $9.95. So, I think it was worth it. It used to be $25, $24, and it's got a brown lid, leaves all the way up and down this, and like a mesh thing on the side, and it's a, just a regular five panel hat. Yeah, I think it'll look really good with like the button up, with the jacket I bought, it matches the pants I bought, t-shirts I bought. Basically everything I bought on this trip matches each other completely and I can wear anything with each other with all the other stuff at the same time. And then last thing I bought, um, we were at the pier in downtown Seattle and then I was asking the waitress where a Zoomies might be because I still wanted my dark teal beanie. And then she said um, that I should try Northgate Mall. So on the way back to Vancouver, I went there and then I came across a Zoomies, but unfortunately I did not find the teal beanie that I wanted, but I found the other beanie that I wanted, which is a maroon one. And this one's also super, super, super soft. Um, yeah, these are so much better than like this one that I bought from Urban Outfitters probably two years ago. I never actually wore it because it's just so constricting, and it's just really stuffy and uncomfortable. Not like this one. Which is, I like beanies where you can put it on your head and you wouldn't really feel like anything's actually on your head, but it still keeps you warm and it's not like squeezing your skull. So those are all the articles of clothing that I bought. And at this series, I also bought two stickers to put on my MacBook because they're nice stickers. This is a um, snowboarding one, looks really cool, and I just love the colors on this one, <laughs> that's why I bought it. It just says, my haters are my motivators, but, I don't know. Yeah, that is everything, I'm gonna put this on my I really like the colors that I bought, everything kind of matches. Um, everything's blue, brown, dark teals, maroon, um, I'll catch you guys later. Remember to you're not subscribed already, which I don't think you'll be watching this video if you're not subscribed. Um, subscribe anywhere down there. Down there. Like. I think that's what YouTubers do. They tell people to like their videos. So, bye!